because I'm actually doing my makeup for, I think, what will be an Instagram shot for Kat Von D. Hopefully. I did get a nice reply back, thank you, for my cat picture that I sent you guys. So, pretty cool. I know that she loves cats. You see my cat in the background, maybe? So, I'm just going to do the foundation. Kind of blot it around. Nice and thick layer. I'm playing It's Black Friday on the television if you hear something in the background. And if you guys would like, I can put my lizard on me and do the rest of the look with her on me. Does that sound good? She just had her bath. So, I'm really disorganized today, and the last thing I wanted to do to be honest with you, was a video because, once again, I just kind of feel like I'm all over the place. But I figure, why not do something kind of cool, just for fun, and, you know, I love Kat Von D, uh, bright shadow line. So the first thing I'm going to do is sweet molder across my brow bone, which is the lightest shade. And I'm going to be using the Deluxe, it's a crease brush. But it does dis, uh, does disperse. Oh, by the way, hold on. Oh, I'm still gonna be looking for stuff, so bear with me. UD is what I'm gonna be using on my lids. Just a small dab, and I'm speed makeuping because I do have to go to work. So let's go ahead and do this on the tops, and then just on the bottom if you can, if you have a little extra, because I am going to be putting a lot of the Kat Von D looser shadows on the bottom. Okay, so done, right? So as we said, molder, and that's this shade right there. Okay. Sweep that across the brow bones. Just like that. And here comes the lawnmower man. And I actually really like skulls, which is this lighter one here. So I'm just going to dip into that. Put that right in the very top part of my brow to give a little bit more illusion of a lift. All right, and as you can see that really dispersed well. And maybe a little bit in the highlighter region since I'm kind of feeling a highlight-ish. I like to do this, get this part over with just because I forget it sometimes to highlight. Okay, and the next step is going to be apply legend on the lids. Legend is the, this tone right here. And actually, let's just use the same brush because why not? Um, okay, let me just look real quick again, make sure I'm not telling you guys wrong. Okay. Legend is a base for a lot of these looks. Uh, for the Misfit look, I don't think you use it. I mean, sorry, for the Muse. For the Muse look. 
Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Once again, not the absolute best lighting in here, but I am trying, I promise you. Switch brushes because I need something that was going to. Uh, my old Mac brush I had this like for 13 years. Mac lasts forever. Alright, um, let's do Molder and Legend and Misfit. Named after the shadow itself, huh? Misfit, 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 Misfit. Mm. Alright, so we're using green. Ooh, this is a really nice, I don't know if you can see all these beautiful greens, but that's going to be this one. Let's tap it. Alright, and it says, Misfit into the crease. So here we go. Now in the background is Beyonce, so. Alright. Let's go ahead and just spread that around while we still have a little bit of moisture. Get a nice apple green tone in there. These looks I find are really nice for every day. You can ease up on these shadows if you want to do just a work look. You don't have to go crazy in other words. And you can still get a really nice tone and pattern of the shadows. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit more and blend it. Okay? Just like that. And I can even stop there and just put some liner on. But we're going to do the bottom lashes bottom lids I mean. Let's do rewind on the outer corners. Blend, blend, blend in three times. Line lips with everlasting lipstick. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's do rewind. And I know what rewind is because I know it's the very dark kind of burgundy shadow there. Let's go ahead and do... Alright. Right underneath there. Oops. Wow. Very pigmented. Remember too, when you do this shade, I'm going to give it a quick tap. And like I said, this is going to be for photos, so I'm going to do a little bit more. My photos tend to get really washed out, because my phone's an LG, it's not a Mac. I mean, an Apple phone. That's how long I have not had Apple in my life. I now called it Mac. Not the makeup. Sleepies. Always and forever. I'm going to finish this look off with a little bit of, woo, a little bit of Urban Decay Fixing Spray. I'm blending this outer corner, of course, with this really dark shade. So let's just go for it. I don't want to cover up the green. Like I said, it's just in the outer corners, like the instructions say. I think that works. Boom, boom. All right, and bring it in a little bit. I like to do a little bit of a gothic thing here where it's like that cut crease look. Okay, and now let's just take our blender and blend that out just a little bit. Okay, I find when I blend, my shadows really do tend to disappear on my face. So all I'm gonna wanna do now is just push that in the crease get those colors really nice to sculpt the upper part of my brows and just let's bring it underneath a little bit. Okay. I have no idea what I'm watching. About. I'm going to do the scandal eyes. Oh, let's do this one. It's the Master Drama Chrome. A little bit right in where the eye, the gummy part of the eyes. Just to kind of open it up a little bit. You can also use pink if you want with this look, but I can't find my pink, so. Oh, uh, let's use the Kat Von D 50th anniversary, baby. All right, let's do this one. Just on the top. Don't want to cover up too much of that beautiful shadow I just did, so really light. And then of course, just use a little bit of makeup spray to finish it. Real simple. Um, let's go ahead and choose a wide variety. I think I'm just going to wear the nude. Kat Von D nude. I think it's just called Noble. I love that name. I, uh... Nice large amount on the lips. 
of this guy. Just any kind of kind of clearish gloss will do. I like this one because it's got a little purple hue in it. Alright, you can line the lips if you want to before you do all this stuff. And of course, for my mascara, I like tart. Tart, tart, tart. I do not use fake lashes or contacts with my looks. I want the looks to kind of speak for themselves. But also, my eyes are very sensitive, so I can't really wear lashes and stuff. I find this is the next best thing because it will really lift your lashes up in a way. Just feel free to double dip, triple dip, and really get that product on them. Alright. Here we go. Alright. I'm going to comb my hair out and put a little bandana on. And I cannot believe we're still recording. drag a comb through, and I'm going to take a picture of this for Miss Cat. Let's do a little bit more finishing spray from far away this time, okay? Same stuff. Oh, and just a little bit more of this. I'm going to do a look with these next, um, just for a little bit of a tip. You can take a little bit of this on any kind of brush. It's very, very, look at that, how, how shine, shiny that is. And just use this to complete your look and your glow. Just on the edge of the Kabuki brush. Okay. All right. And for a little extra pop, you can take just a little bit up above. And you, literally, you need so little of this, it's ridiculous. I've done this before to make the very center of the eye pop a little bit too. Alright guys, so that is that. Nice and ready to go, ready to rock, you know? <laughs> I love this collection. This has been very inspiring and like I said, hold on to it when you buy this palette. This palette rules, okay? But the best thing is they show you how to use the shadows in three different looks. I think that is just like the coolest thing ever. All right, guys. So that's it for me. I'm going to do one more video with um, the metals, the metal shadows. And that's going to be that. All right. Have a good day. I hope that you shine your brightest. And, um, yeah. See you tomorrow on Friday, y'all. Peace out.